Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nina, this is Red Elevator, and today we're gonna to talk about how to style your dining room. So follow me and let's get to it. So when designing a dining room, it can be very challenging. Why? Because you have a giant table in the middle of a very large room, and how do you make it look designer? How do you make it look inviting and cozy enough to be able to have a sit-down dinner? The way I started designing this dining room was that I found this table long before I even built this house. And this table I found at an estate sale, shocker, but I found it at an estate sale of a very famous interior designer who had actually custom made this table in the 70s. What I love about it is the wood that is coated in resin with brass inlay. So this table is so unique, it's not something you can find. And I really therefore designed the room around this beautiful piece that I had found. I really love the fact that you could see the wood through the resin. Uh, resin, as you might know, is what they put on surfboards and it really has a nice sort of feel to it and it covers the table so that the wood is protected. The next big consideration in this dining room was what was I going to choose in terms of chairs for this table. This table is 70s and I didn't want to bring in more 70s pieces because as you guys know, I love to mix it up. So I found my beautiful dining chairs at Kelly Wurstler. As you know, she's my favorite designer and um, she had 12, and I mean 12 of these gorgeous French chairs. These are Louis XV chairs, they're old. They're probably about 100 years old. So I did have to get them reinforced, which was you know, not a big deal. I have my furniture guy reinforce these chairs so that nobody would fall if they were sitting. And what I love about these chairs is the fact that I had them upholstered in this beautiful silk velvet. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to tie in the color of the dining room table, with the chair and the way that these really come together beautifully is the color combination the simplicity of the design the table is square the chairs are square and so there is um, a definite tie-in with the chairs and the table one of the big elements in a dining room is the chandelier or the pendant that's above the dining room table. My pet peeve, as you guys know, is to keep the chandelier pretty low to the table. And the reason you wanna do that is because you do not want to sit under a table that has a chandelier that's so high up that you don't even notice it. You wanna create an intimate space, especially if you have a larger dining room. But even if you have a smaller dining room, you wanna create a chandelier that is approximately 30 inches from the top of your table. I custom designed the chandelier because it had to be very specific to this table and I really loved the way that it was very sort of slick and modern in 70s and brought out the beauty of the table with the brass inlay. So we had the brass inlay in the wood and we brought that out again in the chandelier. One of my favorite pieces is this beautiful terracotta, his and hers statues. And believe it or not, these are also Kelly Wurstler, but what is incredible about them, I know she sourced these and I bought them from her, but what's incredible about these, you guys, is that the head comes off. Yes, it does. I have no idea what to put inside other than all of my um, secret chocolate candies, but it's really cute and it's really fun. And these are by far, I've got two of them. This is the this is the male version and then there's a female version. By far, one of my favorite finds of all time. Yeah. 
It just so happened that the dining room that I found in the designer's home at the estate sale also had a matching credenza. And it was haphazard that the alcove that was already sort of on the architectural plans fit beautifully this piece. This credenza fit right in. It's meant to be. She's meant to be living in this house. And I love her because she also has these incredible brass brackets. And it's actually pretty useful. It's got these really nice drawers. Now, remember, I got this piece probably five or so years ago and that was when brass wasn't even in so you guys it was like these pieces from the 70s that are really making a resurgence are really timeless and that's why going to estate sales and finding things that you love is important because they will really stand the test of time One thing I love to do is to mix different periods, as you guys very well know. So here in this instance, I've got my acrylic Z chairs. These are vintage finds as well. And I mixed it with this beautiful artwork, which is very Rocco and really not truly my style, but it is my style when I mix something that is very ornate with something that is extremely modern and minimal. So these pieces together for me are really, really great. I have a secret passion for sconces, which is why you see them literally all over my house. I've got sconces in the bathroom. I've got sconces in over any credenza. I have sconces, sconces, sconces. But I really love them because to me, they're like jewelry. So as you would put on a ring, you put your sconce on. And so this sconce I really loved because it just had that great designer feel. It's from Arteriors. And um, I put in an Edison bulb suggestion from one of my favorite subscribers is to always use these Edison bulbs and they're absolutely right. Sometimes I forget. And so I just love the sconce and I love the way that it just is round and it's very different from the very stark square table with the square chairs and the square um, lighting fixture and then all of a sudden we have a round sconce. So playful and nice and uh, it really is a good thing. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Red Elevator. I want to know if you guys like dark or light walls in a dining room. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. And again, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe below and we will see you next week.